Hello. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening, guys. How are you? Hello. Good night, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine. You? Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Yes, I'm ready. Right. Me too. Okay. Just ready to start another another good night, teacher. Hey. Hello. Good evening. Good morning. How how was the day? Was it nice? Oh, that's huh? fine. Fine? Oh, yeah. That sounds cool. That sounds good. A lot of rain where you live? My day is was okay, teacher. Okay. Not too much, not too much rain. No. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, they say that tomorrow we're going to have more rain again, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Is, uh, what is the name? Uh, Cristobal, I guess. Okay, Amanda is gone and now Cristobal is coming, right? Yes. Okay. So this this strange this violin a strange visitor that we have every <laughs> every 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 on and off, right? Like every month or twice a year. Okay, good. Okay, now we have a practice of uh, a stand, right? Yeah. Okay, very good. Let's see. Let me see here we have. Okay, this is what the video that we watched uh, last night. Okay. And this is the. Not that I need to share something else before we we do that one. Let's see if we can. Can you see the presentation? No. Huh? No. 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 I was afraid of that. Now? No. 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 Okay. okay. Let's see. Yeah, because this is a special one. <laughs> now, do you see the car? Uh, do you see the? We are watching the, the files. Okay, the files. Yeah, you're the screen. Okay, good. But you don't see the presentation, right? No. 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 Okay, so then, um, yes, I, I was testing this afternoon. I thought it was going to work, but now you see the desktop. No. Um, no. Nothing, okay? Continue. Okay, okay, wait a minute. Okay, so then. No. Okay, so we won't be able to see it for the moment. Okay, probably we can convert it to a different format. Okay, so we're gonna do the practice then, the platform that we have. Uh, just choose the best response to this question. Remember yesterday we were practicing with uh, a affirmative uh, sentences in the was, using where, uh, the verb to be, right? Uh, we use, uh, yes. uh, the um, affirmative and negative. Yeah. And after that, we also practice with the regular and irregular verbs, right? 
some perfective sentences, and some negative sentences. Okay, now we have here some questions for the knowledge check. Okay, that says choose the best response to this question. So did she play soccer in high school? And then you can answer here with one of these three options, okay? Mm -hmm. Which is the best choice that we have? The, no, she didn't play soccer in high school. She played basketball. No, she didn't play soccer in high school. She played basketball or no, she soccer didn't play in high school. She played basketball. It's the second one. The no. Second one. no, no, she is the second, second answer. Second option. Second option? Yeah, second answer. Yes. Yes. What is the difference with the first one? Because the first one is, is in the past, and when I use the the auxiliary bill, bill I can't put put in the verbs in past. That's correct, right? So then exactly, right? So then here we have the auxiliary verb did. So then the verb has to be in uh, the base form. So we don't okay. use the past. Okay. So this, you know, is tricky, okay. right? So these are like tricks that sometimes if we read fast, uh, in, uh, when we are reading an exam or something, you know, that can be a, a problem. And sometimes it's not that we don't know, it's just sometimes we didn't pay attention to that. Okay, what about the next one? Choose the best response to this question. When did you graduate from college? The second, second, second option. Second, second option. Okay. This one is. Yeah. I graduated from college in two thousand five. I graduated yes. now because it is present, right? Right. Yeah. This one is in past. Yeah. In and past. this one is using the auxiliary verb and the verb in past. So the best option is the, the second one. Okay, good. Good, Carlos Ramos, can you please read the number three? Uh, number three, yep. uh, the answer is uh, one option. Read, read the question, read the question. Okay. Uh, third. Uh, I grew up mm -hmm. in Houston, Texas. Uh, this one, choose the best option. So the best question? The best option is, is a very deep you grow. No, uh, here, read the number three instructions. What? Oh, so the best question to match is, uh, is uh, this response. I agree up Houston, Texas. Okay. And the answer is a fair option. So where I did you grow? The first option, right? So where did you, this one? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yes. I grew up in Houston, Texas. So the question, the correct question is, where did you grow up? Okay. Okay, very good. Now, uh, how about uh, Veronica? Can you read this, the next one, please, number four? Choose. Okay, uh, choose the right question to match this response. I began to study English two years ago, and the answer is number one first uh, when do you begin to study english when did you begin okay here when did you begin yes. auxiliary in verb in base form the second option is when but no auxiliary there is incorrect right and where did right. you begin is the verb is in past and also the auxiliary verb and the verb so it's incorrect, right? Good. Okay. And Ada, can you read number five? Choose the best response of the question, did you have a pet when you were a child? Uh, I think it's a... Uh, no, I did. No, I did have a pet. Okay. Did you have a pet when you were a child? No, yes. I, no, I didn't, mm -hmm. or yes, I did. 
Yes, I did. Yes, yes, I, yes, did. I, did. Ah, yes I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Ah, okay. okay. I have a pet named Roger. Okay, would not be the best one because it's a yes, no question. Okay? Ah, okay. It's a yes, no question. You have to answer yes or no. And when you when we use, okay, when we use no, we say no, I... No, I didn't. Uh, uh, no, okay. I, didn't. Right. <laughs> I remember. Uh-huh, yes. Okay, and the other one is yes, I did. Huh. Okay, now let's check our answers and let's see if we are right or not. Okay. It's correct. So it's correct. Number four is correct. And number three is correct. And number four is number sorry, number two is also correct. And the number one is correct. Okay. But the important thing here is not only to find the uh, the, the correct answer, but also to see why the other ones are incorrect, right? So that when you do this by yourself, when you do this alone, you can pay attention to these details, right? So because here only the ED makes the difference, right? The two sentences. And if we read fast, then we might not, uh, we might miss, you know, that, uh, that detail. Okay, any questions in this moment? No. 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 Very good. Okay, I see that you have a good base on past tense. That's nice. Okay, Aide, can you do me a favor and read the, the objective in 1.3 by the end? By the end of the class, you will be able to make positive and negative statements. In the past tense, using the verb to be. Additional, you will be able to talk about your background in English. For example, explain where you were born and when you come to the United States. This English conversation skill will help you introduce yourself and respond to questions using correct English grammar. Okay, very good. So now we have the verb to be. And then we have also your background. So, you know, that means like a, a little biography, right? And then listen to these uh, skills. We'll help you to introduce yourself and respond to questions. Uh, listen. Uh, let me share the sound just in case. Here we go. Thank you. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll be able to make positive and negative statements using the verb to be. Additionally, you'll be able to make statements such as, I was born in China, I wasn't born in the United States. Let me get started by quickly explaining this chart. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about this chart and we're going to quickly focus on the left side of this chart. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to make positive statements such as I was born in Argentina and how to make negative statements such as I wasn't born in, let's say, Mexico. The first thing that I would like to explain regarding this topic is one basic rule and that's the verb to be. So let me, uh, let me get to that. What I want to do is explain the following concept. And that is that the verb to be will change depending on the pronoun that you use. For instance, whenever you use the pronouns I, he, she, or it, the verb to be that we're going to have to use for positive sentences is was. And whenever we make a negative sentence, then we're going to have to use wasn't. So if we look at our example here at the top, I was born in Argentina. Um, if I use another pronoun, let's say that I use the pronoun he, then I will say he was born in Argentina. If I were to use the pronoun she, then I would say she was born in Argentina. And obviously the same thing whenever we make a positive or negative sentence uh, with the um, other um, pronoun. So if I were to talk about we, then we will say something like we were born in Argentina. Um, you were born in Argentina. They were born in Argentina. Uh, so let me quickly explain, uh, you know, what the structure looks like. So 
In order to do that, we're going to have a subject plus uh, the verb to be in the past, and then we're going to have some sort of complement. So the example is, um, I was born in Argentina, okay? And then what I want to say is, I also want to give a negative statement, so I want to say, I wasn't born in uh, China. This is the uh, first example that I gave you at the beginning. Um, and what I want to do at this time, I just want to quickly color that. I'm going to color the subject in red and I would like to color uh, the verb in green and then the complement, I'm just going to go ahead and color that in a different color. It could be any color. The only thing that I want you to notice is that uh, we have a subject at the beginning that follows the verb to be and then that follows some sort of complement in order for us to make the positive statements or the negative statements. So I mentioned that um, the subject we can change that to any subject that we would like. So for example, he, we could say he was born in Argentina. Um, we could say she was born in Argentina. And also, I quickly want you to learn that you may also use names here. So for example, you may say Peter was born in Argentina, right? Uh, Mary was born in Argentina, and so on and so forth. Uh, and of course, if we want to make negative statements, then we would say something like this. Uh, he wasn't born in, Ar in China, right? I was born in Argentina, I wasn't born in China. Whenever we change this subject, now we use you, so therefore we're going to have to use the verb to be where in our negative statements that we weren't. So uh, you were born in Argentina, and of course we can say you and this will be in its negative form, so this will be weren't born in China. So what I would like for you to do now is to tell me what part of the world were you born? And I want you to give me positive statements and negative statements about yourself. So for instance, let's say that you were born in Brazil. Well, then you will tell me something like, I was born in Brazil. And obviously, because you were born in Brazil, you weren't born in Argentina. So your statement could be, I was born in Brazil, I wasn't born in Argentina. Um, and I know there are students from different parts of the world, so maybe your statement could be, I was born in China, I wasn't born in Japan. And perhaps your parents were born in France. So my parents were born in France. And I want you to make a negative statement with that. So they weren't born in, let's say, Spain. Okay, good. So then this is not uh, what we were practicing basically yesterday, you know, just, just like review it and see. And now, for example, uh, we have the option to use was born, right? I was born. For example, I was born in San Salvador, okay? I wasn't born in La Libertad, okay? Now I live here in the La Libertad uh, department, but, okay, I was born in San Salvador. Okay, what about you, sir? Where were you born? Listen to the question. Where were you born? Okay. I was born in Sasso and I wasn't born in Okay, I was born in San Salvador too. Where were you? In my case, I was born in Santa Ana, but now I live in Lourdes. I live in? Lourdes. Lourdes, okay, so we're neighbors. So we, li we live in London. Okay. Really? Yeah, live in London. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just you know how I, I when people ask me, where do you live? I live in London. It's London. So yes, I know. <laughs> All right. It's like people say, uh, for example, who was born in Shulton City? Okay, remember? That was Sulutang, right? Okay. One day, some, someone on somebody mm -hmm. told me, you live in London? And I say, huh? I don't understand that. <laughs> you didn't know. You didn't know where you live. That one. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Thank you. 
Okay, anybody yeah. else who wants to share? Where Ala, where you live? Where is you live for next? Where you uh, I... Teacher said Anna or oh, said yes. uh, Sorry, Ada. I said I said Ada. Okay, Ada. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I I was born in San Jose Villanueva. I okay. was born in Santa Ana. I grew up in San Jose Villanueva. Okay. So you are from La Libertad too, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. How about you, Anna? Okay. Uh, I was born in San Sebastián, San Vicente. Okay. I grew up in San Martín. Perfect. Yes, and actually I live in San Salvador. Okay. I moved okay. to here uh, in 2019, 2095. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Okay, only when you say um, at actually is at present, okay? Uh, presently. At present, at present. Ah, at present, at okay. At present, I live in San Salvador, okay? Okay, teacher. Because actually, actually in English is something like uh, Is that reality. another context? Uh-huh, exactly. In okay, reality. thank you. Actually, I don't remember at the meaning, okay? Okay. Good, thank you. Anybody else who wants to share? Are there? Yes, uh, yes, I was. Mm -hmm. I was born in in San Salvador, but I live in I live in in Apopa. You live in Apopa. Okay, very good. So that's very close from here too. Okay, good. Okay, anybody else? I was mm -hmm. born in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. I wasn't born in La Libertad. Okay, and where where did you grow up? I grew up in San Salvador. Perfect, nice answer. Okay, very good. Hamilton, you were going to say something. Thank you. I was born in San Salvador. Okay. At present, uh, li lived in Santa Tecla. Excellent, very good. And where did you grow up? I grew up in San Salvador. I grew up in San Salvador. Okay, very good. Okay, anybody else? Thank you. Volunteer, volunteer. I was mm -hmm. born in San Salvador. Okay. I wasn't born in Chalatenango. Okay, good. Do you live in Chalatenango now? No. No, never <laughs> in my life. <laughs> okay, and where did you grow up, Vero? I grew, uh, I grew up in San Salvador. You grew up in San Salvador as well. Okay, how about uh, uh, Jennifer? I was born in San Salvador. Okay. And I wasn't born in Santa Ana. You weren't born in Santa Ana. Where did you grow up? I grew up in San Salvador. Very good, excellent. Uh, we have here Jose Luis. Where are Jose Luis? Yeah. Okay, how about you? Uh, I was born in Santa Ana. I grew up in Santa Ana too. I am living outside of the El Salvador. Okay, very good, excellent. Okay, so you're living out of abroad. Now you are living abroad. Yeah, in the world. Okay, okay good. Uh, Marvin, oh, Marvin is connecting right now. Uh, Alexis? I was born in Chalatenango and I wasn't born in Santana. Okay, very good. How about you, Laura? Hi, I was born San Salvador and I grew up in Apopa. I grew up in Apopa. So you were born in San Salvador and you grew up in Apopa. Okay, good. Yes. Uh, Marvin? Okay, he's not in yet. Helena? I was born in San Salvador. I was born in San Miguel. Okay, very good. Sir, did you tell us where you were born? Yes, San Salvador, right? Yes, yeah, San Salvador. Yes, yes uh, William. I was on board in Rosario La Paz, in the department La Paz. Mm -hmm. I, I was uh -huh. born in La Udes, Colombia. Oh, really? So you are original from here then? Okay, that's good. Excellent. Good, good, good. Anybody else? Uh, Javier? Did you tell us where you were born? 
Okay. I was born in San Miguel. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, uh, I grew up in San Miguel, and when I was a child, uh, I started uh, in San Miguel. When I was a teenager, I used to went out with my friends to the party. Okay. Uh, and um, I, actually, um, I lived in San Salvador uh, 10 years ago. We moved uh, with my family. Okay, at present, right? At present, you live in uh, San Salvador, okay? Instead of actually. Okay, very good. Who's missing? Who's missing? It's me, teacher. Okay, Carlos. Uh -huh. uh, I was born in Santa Teca. Uh, I, I grew up in Chimalco. Okay. And actually, actually live in San Salvador. And at present, at present, in present I, I live, live in San Salvador. In San Salvador. Okay, very good. Who else? Okay. I was teacher. Okay. Uh, okay. I was born. I was born in San Salvador, but I live in Guasapa. Okay, good. You live in Guasapa now. Yes. Okay, fine. Anybody else? Me teacher. I was born in uh -huh. San Salvador. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, I did. I was born in San Salvador. I grew up in Ciudad Delgado. And I grew up in Ciudad Delgado. You know that I, I lived uh, many years in Ciudad Delgado too. Okay, so. Actually, I, I grew up in Ciudad Delgado, and then I moved. Really? Yes. You know, it was a very nice place. I remember my childhood, you know, was was very nice playing soccer in all those streets in Ciudad Delgado. Okay. It's good. But, yes, it is. Okay. It okay. Is. Uh, Ricardo, right? Or who? Diego? Yes. Okay, yes. Diego. Me. Oh, Ricardo. Okay. Oh, me. Right. I was... Um, I wasn't born in La Libertad, but I live in La Libertad. Okay. I wasn't born in La Libertad, but I live in La Libertad. Okay, good. Fine. Okay, guys. Now, we're going to play a little game, okay? Okay. We're going to use, we're going to practice only yes, no questions, okay? Uh, I will change my name, okay? I will have a different name. And now you have to get my new name, all right? Okay, perfect, okay. So then, but you can ask me only yes, no questions. You can say, were you, uh, did you, were you, did you, were you, did you, okay? And I will say, yes, I was, no, I was, okay? This for you to Okay, but please uh, concentrate and try not to repeat the questions, right? Because here you have to, you're going to practice the structure of the question, but at the same time, okay, you, uh, I, I want to see your, your comprehension, right? Because if you, if I say something, okay, I want you to connect that idea to try to discover my new name, okay? Uh, the person that I have chosen is from the past, okay? So that, okay, it's not, it's not alive anymore, it's dead, okay? So that we can use uh, verbs in past tense, all right? So imagine that the new name that I have is a person who is dead, okay? Uh, the, the name of the game is 20 questions, okay? So that means that you have 20 chances, 20 opportunities, okay? Ready? Okay. No. Yes. No questions, no doubts? No. Okay. Good. Now let's start. Who wants to start? Or I will, uh, if you want, I can start with the order that I have in the pictures in this moment here in the, in my screen. We can start here with, uh, a, I'm gonna start with Nelson. First question, Nelson. Um, did you born in, the, in El Salvador? What is the question? Where you? Where you born in El Salvador? Okay. No, I wasn't. Okay. Okay. Good, Laura. 
Okay. Um, when you was a child, you you did fl flirt some with someone. Did you? Did you flirt? Flirt. Flirt uh -huh. with someone. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> flirt. Flirt. Yes. This person. Yes. A lot. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Gladys. Okay. Uh, where did you study in the co in the San Salvador? Did you study in San Salvador? No. 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 Okay, remember, the first question was, were you born in El Salvador? She said, no. Okay. Then uh, Laura asked, did you, uh, did you flirt? With many girls or with girls, yes. This this person was he, he liked to flirt a lot. Okay. So now, uh, so did you study in San Salvador? No. Okay. Not in this country, Alexis. Alexis, are you there? Sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh, did you do exercise yesterday? No, the question you have to do is my new name, okay? About the other part. Okay, probably you can say, did you exercise? Okay, that person, then my new name. We say, did you exercise? Now we say, yes, I did, right? In past tense. Okay, good. Jose Luis. No? Okay. Lydia? Yes. Hello? Yes, Lydia. Okay, your question? Um, was he an actor? Was he an actor? Yes, he was. Good, good, good. Uh -huh. Veronica? Me. Um, okay, okay. I don't know. Uh, do you... Okay, an actor. Yes. Uh, I don't know. Oh, sorry. Uh, do you, you do you born in United States? Where? Oh, sorry. Where? Uh, where were you born? Uh huh. Where were you born in the United States? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, where uh -huh. were you born where? in the United States? Yes, I was. Ah, uh, where you? Okay. Mm -hmm. Where are you Thank born? You. Um, where are you born? Where? Uh -huh. In the United States. Okay. okay uh, first. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking if you born at the United States and obviously your name is in English, if you are actor. Um, were you acting in action movies? Action movies. Oops, sorry. Uh, wait. Okay, um, action movies. Um, yes, there were some kind of action. There were some kind of action. You know, not like, like Arnold Schwarzenegger or, or uh, Rocky or this kind of actors, right? But there was a match. Mm -hmm. Okay. Seven questions. All right, Carlos Ramos, question. Um, oh no. Um, were you living in, in another country in the United States. Did you live in another state? If I another did you live in another country? The sí. state. Yes, I think it was from I can I don't remember exactly. I have forgotten in this moment. 
where he was from. Okay. I'll tell you in a minute, right? Yes, but I, I tell you the, the name of the state. Okay, a uh, question, uh, Ricardo? Um, did you do a movie? Did you act in a movie? Mm -hmm. did, you, did you act in a movie? Yes, I did. I did. Okay, my questions. Did you play in some professional team? No, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. Ada? Did you listen to music um, the past week? No, because I'm dead. Okay, but. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> But this guy, he listened. Yes, he listened a lot of music. Okay. Teacher, when you have the first job, did you have a problem? Mm, I don't think so. No. <laughs> Okay, another question. Uh, let's see. Aide. Aide, yes. Okay, okay. When you were a child, enjoy your childhood? Uh, yes, I did. Yes. Ah, okay, um, like Carlos, he was born in Mississippi. Okay, Mississippi. Okay, this person is from Mississippi, United States. Okay. Good. Uh, Jennifer, question. Did you read books last week? Uh, no, 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 this person, no. <laughs> okay, yeah, I did, but the person, my new identity, no. Okay. Uh, let's see, Javier, question. Another language. Excuse me? Have you studied other languages? Uh, did, did you speak another language? Yes. Okay, did you speak another language? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, mm -hmm. good. Only English, yes. The, the songs were in English. And... Okay, uh, Nelson? Did you? play uh, music did you play any musical instrument yes i did yes okay. i did okay angie teacher did you did you study another career no 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 okay. i didn't okay now you see for example you have a man from mississippi united states actor uh, also play music, singer, okay, dad, okay, I don't know what other questions can you ask. This is all the information that you have. And you have three more opportunities, three more questions. Mm. Okay, Anna? Okay, who was your hero, your hero when you were a child? Okay, well, that man. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, for me it was Superman. <laughs> but for, <laughs> for this guy, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Uh, Veronica. Uh, okay, another. Uh, yes. Do you do you go? I don't. Do you win one? Uh -huh. Do you win a uh, Oscar? Ah uh, no, no. I think that the the Oscar didn't exist in that. Oh, yes, oh my God, he's very old, man. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> well, 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 yes, yes. Richard. Well, it's, uh, yes, uh, for. Do you have a uh, white skin? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, the 20 questions are finished, but okay, now opportunities. Questions, more questions. 
who wants to ask more questions? Okay. Uh -huh. Peter? Yes. Were you married to an actress? And not to an actress. Or famous. But a famous person, person yes. Okay. Okay. It was I was very famous. I was very, very famous. Very, very famous. Yes, I made a lot of movies. Funny. I can say, I can say the name of the artist. Yes, if you have. Elvis. Wow, how did you know that? Yes, Nelson. Okay, I don't know. Can you read it? No, you can. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Elvis. Was, yes, Elvis. That was the name. How did you guess? What were the clues that helped you to find my new name? Google.com. Ah, okay. No, <laughs> Mississippi. Oh, Mississippi, yes. Artist from Mississippi. Mississippi. Yes. And very famous. And play the, and play the, the instru in musical instrument. Musical instrument, many, many songs, yes. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, so you see the idea here is just to practice with you, where you, okay. For example, you can, uh, you can ask questions like, were you married? Did you have children? Uh, what other question could it be about a person? Uh, were you famous? Were you rich? Uh, did you did you get divorced? Okay. Uh, did you get married? All these, you know, are questions that you can ask in order to you know, find out about the past of a person, right? Okay, good. So we have yes, that's the. That's the, let's say, let's say music, Mississippi didn't have problems. Yes, I didn't have problems in her job, actually. Okay, good. Now, questions about the past? No, right? Okay, let's see the, this part here. Now we can uh, check. Now, uh, Laura, can you read the question here? Can you repeat, please? Can you read this question here? Ah, okay. Mm, he, which? he was born in oh. Spanish. No, here, here. Ah, which, okay. yes. which ah. is the correct use? Okay, good. So which is the correct And he was born in Spain. Mm -hmm. He were born in Spain or he weren't born in Spain? Which is the correct one? He was born in Spain. Yeah, because it's he was. Okay, no, he were, no, he were. Good. You should say, my parents were in France. Uh -huh. Were in France. Where? In where? France. Were in France. Where in France. Why were in the was? Because, because, it's, because it's they. Because it's they, right? They. It's plural, yes. correct. Right, they. Three. What is a grammatically correct answer to this question? Where were you born? I was born, I was I was born, born in Mexico. Mexico. I was born in Mexico, correct? I was born in Mexico. My wife and I, uh, my wife and I? I were, were. in Mexico. Okay, good. Because were. it's? Because it's day. Because it's day, we right? Are. Okay. It doesn't matter if you say my wife, my wife and I was. No, my wife and I because it's they. Good, excellent. And the English quiz? Was, 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 was a little bit was. was. Because it's it. Uh -huh, because it is it. It's only one, it's singular. Okay, that's correct. Okay, so we have correct, correct, correct. And okay, guys, you have another 10. Very good. Nice. Okay. Then here we have uh, a Ricardo. Ricardo, right? I think Ricardo is here. Yes. yes. Can you please read okay. this objective here? Okay. So will English conversational skills with the lesson lesson on past tense questions. Practice forming past tense question using the verb to be by asking a person about his or her background. For example, you will be able 
were you born in the city? Where were you born? When were you born? And how old were you when you came to this country? Uh, by the end of the lesson, you will be able to ask and answer yes or no question and YH questions using was and were. Okay, now probably here the new element is uh, WH questions, right? Why, when, how, who, that we can also combine all these uh, WH questions to ask in the past tense, okay? So let's uh, watch the video and then after we're going to to practice more complex questions, right? By the end of this class, you'll be able to ask and answer yes and no questions and WH questions using the verb to be in the past. For example, you'll be able to ask the following questions. Were you born in this city? When were you born? Where were you born? So we're going to try to make sense of these two questions that you see there on the left. Where were you born? Were you born in Buenos Aires? And the first thing that um, I want to point out is the following, that we're still going to continue to follow that uh, rule that we learned in our previous lesson, which was that we're going to follow the verb to be, either was or where, depending on the pronoun. So if I talk about I, he, she, or it, then the verb to be that we'll use will be was, and whenever we talk about the pronouns we, you, or they, the verb to be that we're going to use will be where. Now, let's try to make sense of the different types of questions that we have. First of all, we're going to talk about yes or no questions. And that will be the second one that you see there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make sense of that question and then we're going to practice making a few. So um, let me start by writing down a formula. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to include will be the verb to be, and I'm going to go ahead and color this in, let's say, uh, green. I'm going to go ahead and color this subject in, let's say, red. And the complement, I'm going to go ahead and color that in something um, different. I'm going to go ahead and use, um, I'm going to go ahead and use blue this time, right? Um, and so let's do the following. Uh, let me uh, write down uh, the uh, uh, the verb to be here, and then this is going to follow the subject. And after this, this will follow the complement. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the colors there. Okay. All right, there we go. So in order for us to make questions in the past using the verb to be, what we're going to do is we're going to use the verb to be in the past, either was or where. And I mentioned that we need to recall uh, this rule that we learned in our previous lesson in order to understand that. Then this follows the subject. And then this will follow whatever complement that you want to ask. So if you look at our example here, were you born in Buenos Aires? And the answer to this question will be, yes, I was. That will be the short answer. Um, and the negative response will be, no, I wasn't. And of course, this will vary depending on the pronoun. Let's say that I changed the subject now. And let's say that now I want to ask about he. So how are we going to do that? Well, first of all, we need to recall that whenever we use the pronoun he, we're going to use the verb to be was. So therefore, we'll say, was he born in China? And of course, we also need to recall that um, here we can um, use names instead of the pronoun. So was Mary born in China? Was Peter born in China, etc. So what I want to do now is I want to talk about creating WH questions. And in order for us to create WH questions, we're pretty much going to follow the same pattern. So as you can see, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste this previous rule here. And the only difference that we're going to have in creating WH questions is that I'm going to write some sort of WH word. And what are those WH words? Well, you can see the example that 
we have on this little chart, we're going to use WH words such as where, who, what, when, why, etc. That's what we mean by uh, WH words. And so that is what's going to um, be included at the very beginning and everything else will pretty much stay the same. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change the color um, this differently just to make sure that we know what's happening there. So let me do that right now. Okay, there we go. So we're going to have some sort of WH word and then that's going to follow the verb to be in the past. Uh, then it's going to follow the subject and then whatever complement that exists. So if we look at our example, where were you born? Right. So there we let me write the same one there where the verb to be. Oops. And then this is going to follow the subject. And then uh, whatever complement. And then we have ourselves a WH question. And WH question simply means information questions, if you will. Also, if you want to look at them that way. What I would like for you to do now is to practice the concept that we just learned. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to post some questions here for you. And I would like for you to answer these questions and come up with as many others that you possibly can. Try to make those yes or no questions or WH questions. This is okay. This is what we have, and now we can, you know, recreate our own. Well, we can create our own questions. Like for example, okay, how long? How long did you? Uh, for example, how long did you um, did you sleep uh, last night? Okay. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Last night I I slept two hours. Two hours. Yeah. Wow. That's very little. Okay. So they say last night I slept. Okay. The important thing here is you know to practice in your answer the past tense of the verb. Right? You say for example, how long did you sleep last night? I slept two hours. Slept two hours. Yeah, no, it's okay. You're to stay. But you know, this is what you're going to do. I slept for two hours, I slept two hours, I slept only I slept only two hours. Okay. It depends on how much time you slept. Okay, uh, how long, for example, how long did you did you study English today? I studied English. I studied English for two hours. I studied English for two hours. Okay, how long did you study English? I studied English for two hours. Okay. How often, how often did you take a shower when you were a child? Be honest. <laughs> how often did you take a shower when you were a child? I took a shower every year. I usually take, I usually take a shower two, twi no, twice, twice. A month. A a month. No. <laughs> I, I, I'm a sorry. I don't know. Okay, guys, <laughs> I usually take a shower. I usually take a shower twice a day. Twice. Or a week. Twice a day. <laughs> twice a day. Yes, right. Twice. No, it, 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 yes, it's possible. Right? Twice a day. Twice a week. Twice a month. Okay, in my case, it was okay. twice a year, twice a year, once in January, <laughs> winter, you. and another one in summer. <laughs> okay, what else? Okay, how often, okay, for example, how often did you go to the beach when you were uh, a teenager? I usually... Did you went where? To the beach. In vacation. Oh. <laughs> okay, every I usually went every vacation, right? So yes. How often did you go to the beach when you were a teenager? Then say I usually went every vacation. Okay. 
Yes. I, I usually win. Mm -hmm. I usually win. Okay, mm -hmm. so you see, for example, if there are questions like who. Okay, somebody asked me, I think Anna did, who was your favorite uh, superhero when you were a child? Okay, as I told her, uh, my favorite superhero was Superman, right? And then, my favorite uh, okay. superhero is Superman. Was, was, <laughs> because because was Superman. he's very handsome. <laughs> no, in my case, because he's very strong. <laughs> <laughs> and he, and he, is a, he is very strong, yes. yes. Of course. Okay. okay, good. You have two reasons. All right, good. Then what is another question you can say when, okay, for example, when did you, uh, when did you finish, uh, when did you finish university? Or when did you finish high school? Okay, I finished high school in 1984, for example. I finished high, high school in 2005. Okay, so another question, where? Where did you live? Or where did your parents live when they were, or when you were born? Okay? So you see all these questions using what, where, when, how, okay, uh, what else? Uh, who, how often, how long, uh, what else can I, can I ask? Uh, who, okay, who did you live with? Okay, who did you live with when you were a uh, teenager? Who did you live with before you get married? If you are married now, okay? So all these questions you know, are possibilities that you can have using WH words, okay? So, okay. some questions. Who can, who wants to participate and practice a couple of questions before we, before we go to bed? Where did you live? Where did you learn English? Okay, this is another one. Where did you learn English? Okay, and then the answer is I learned English first here in El Salvador and then in the United States. Okay, so this okay. is where uh, did you learn? Uh -huh. How did you celebrate your last birthday? Oh, here at home. <laughs> here at home and with, uh, with my family. Actually, it was last month, okay, it was May, so I had to stay here. So I celebrated <laughs> here in my house, just with a cake. And Did you drink beer? No, no horchata. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No beer that day because, you know, there was, it was, it was not my, according to my ID, okay, I had to, had to go out like three days after, so I couldn't, I couldn't celebrate it the way I, I wanted. Next um, year, probably, or oh, in two years when we are able to go out. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what else? Who Another was question? your best friend when you were a child? How? Who was your best friend when you were a child? Okay, who was your best friend? Okay, my best friend was mm -hmm. my neighbor. Okay, my neighbor, his name was Carlos. Okay, so and that was, okay. I was like five years old, I remember, that we used to play marbles. You know, you know marbles? Okay. You know marbles? Yes? Yeah. Okay, good. You know, we used to play marbles a lot, okay, all afternoon. Okay, other questions? How mm -hmm. did you meet with your best friend? Sorry? Uh, when, how did you meet with your best friend? Okay, uh, that's a good question because I was like four or five years old. I don't remember exactly, but I just remember that he was my neighbor. Probably we went out and then we saw each other and then and then we played, you know, just like kids. kids okay. What is learn. his name? Carlos. Carlos was his name. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, good. So then uh, practice questions like this and tomorrow we're going to do have a well, we're gonna do the and do the do the the knowledge check, okay, about this question. And tomorrow we continue with more practice, okay, everybody. Thank you. Nice okay, to see you again. Thank you. Okay. okay. Thank everybody. you. Bye. 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 Bye